Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a1, a2, dot dot dot, a n is a list of positive real numbers, where n is greater than or equal to 2. Then, the arithmetic mean of this list is greater than or equal to the geometric mean of this list. Now, in proving this theorem, we are going to use the following preliminary result. Bernoulli's inequality. Suppose capital A is a real number greater than negative 1, and capital N is a positive integer. Then, 1 plus capital A to the power of capital N is greater than or equal to 1 plus capital N times capital A. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start out the proof, we are going to use induction. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to show, given any list of two positive real numbers, say a1 comma a2, we have that a1 plus a2 over 2 is greater than or equal to the square root of a1 times a2. So, to start out, let's give ourselves a list of two positive real numbers. I'll call them a1 comma a2. And the whole goal from here is to show that this is true. Now, to show that this is true, we can show that the square of this is greater than or equal to the square of this. And to do that, it suffices to show that the square of this minus the square of this is greater than or equal to zero. So let me write out the square of this minus the square of this. So as you can see, I have the square of this minus the square of this. Now, we're going to show that this guy is greater than or equal to zero. Now, if we expand this parentheses out, we know it's just going to be a1 plus a2 squared over 4, or just 1 fourth times a1 plus a2 squared. But then, if we expand out this parentheses, we know that this is just going to be equal to a1 squared plus 2a1 a2 plus a2 squared. And then, if we distribute the 1 fourth across, we get this. And then, notice, we can do 1 half a1 a2 minus a1 a2, which gives us minus 1 half a1 a2. And now, we can take these guys and factor out a 1 fourth. And then, what we have in the parentheses is just equal to a1 minus a2 squared. And at this point, we know that any real number squared is greater than or equal to zero. Multiply it by a positive number, it's still greater than or equal to zero. And so, we have shown that the square of this minus the square of this is greater than or equal to zero. And that tells us that the square of this is greater than or equal to the square of this. And as I said before, I said this is all we needed to show in order to show that this guy is greater than or equal to this guy. And that's true because since this guy is greater than or equal to this guy, and these guys are both positive, it follows that the square root of this guy must be greater than or equal to the square root of this guy. And therefore, a1 plus a2 over 2 is in fact greater than or equal to the square root of a1 times a2. And so, this completes the base case. Now, let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer n greater than or equal to 2. And we're assuming that the amgm inequality holds for all lists of n positive real numbers. And the whole goal of the induction step at this point is to show that the AMGM inequality holds for all lists of n plus 1 positive real numbers. So let's give ourselves an arbitrary list of n plus 1 positive real numbers. We'll say it goes from a1 to an plus 1. 
And with this list of n plus one positive real numbers, we want to show that the AMGM inequality holds. Now for convenience, we are going to denote a1 plus a2 plus dot 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 plus a n by s n. So now we want to show that the arithmetic mean of this list is greater than or equal to the geometric mean of this list. Yeah, I'm sorry, I pronounced it wrong before. But anyways, to show that the arithmetic mean of this list is greater than or equal to the geometric mean of this list, all we have to do is show that the arithmetic mean to the power of n plus 1 is greater than or equal to the geometric mean to the power of n plus 1. So let me start out by writing the arithmetic mean to the power of n plus 1. Now remember, for convenience, we're denoting the sum of the first n terms by Sn. Okay, now here is my favorite part of the proof. We are going to add and subtract 1 over n Sn. And then, if we add the first two terms together, well, it's going to give us n plus 1 over n times Sn. The reason why, if we add these two guys together, we get n plus 1 over n times Sn is because if I write this plus this over here, well, we know that Sn is equal to n over n times Sn. So from here, we can factor out an Sn. And adding these two fractions together just gives us n plus 1 over n. So that's the reason why we get n plus 1 over n times Sn. Anyways, let's move back up to the top since we've ran out of room. Now, in the numerator, we are going to factor out an Sn over n. If we do that, what's going to happen? Well, the first term in the parentheses should be n plus 1. The second term should be a minus 1. And the third term should be n over Sn times a n plus 1. In other words, n times a n plus 1 over Sn. Right, you can verify if you just shoot Sn over n across this parentheses, you get exactly what we have in the numerator here. And now what we're going to do is we are going to split this power of n plus 1 into two powers of n plus 1. Really, this entire thing is just equal to Sn over n to the power of n plus 1 times all of this to the power of n plus 1. Right, we're allowed to do this because the rule that we're applying here is this rule. So, yeah. But now, we're going to split this fraction up into two fractions. Really, this entire fraction is equal to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus all of this over n plus 1. But n plus 1 over n plus 1 is just equal to 1. So we have 1 plus all of this to the power of n plus 1. But notice, we have something of the form 1 plus capital A to the power of capital N. So we can apply Bernoulli's inequality. We're going to take capital A to be this mess and capital N to be n plus 1. Now, our choices for capital A and capital N only make sense if this mess is greater than negative 1 and n plus 1 is a positive integer. Well, of course, n plus 1 is a positive integer, so our choice for capital N makes sense. But what about our choice for capital A? Is this mess greater than negative 1? Well, to show that this guy is greater than negative 1, Well, how can we show that this is true? Well, since n plus 1 is positive, this inequality is equivalent to if we multiply n plus 1 to the other side. 
But since we have negative one on both sides of this inequality, this is equivalent to if we add negative one on both sides to get cancel them out. So what we've established here is to say that this inequality is true is equivalent to saying this inequality is true. Well, we know that this inequality is true because the left-hand side is positive and the right-hand side is negative. So because this inequality is true, we must have that this inequality is true. And that tells us that our choice for capital A is in fact greater than negative one. So our choices for capital A and capital N make sense, which means we can apply Bernoulli's inequality. So this parentheses is precisely one plus capital A to the power of capital N. And by Bernoulli's inequality, it's greater than or equal to one plus capital N times capital A. In other words, this parentheses is greater than or equal to one plus N plus one times this mess. Right, so we really have one plus capital N times capital A right here. But notice the N plus ones cancel out. And since we ran out of room, let's move back up to the top. Furthermore, we see that one plus negative one cancels out. And now notice we have SN over N and N over SN. Well, really, N over SN is equal to SN over N to the power of negative one. And then from our rules of exponents, if we multiply these two together, we get SN over N to the power of N. And we're basically almost there. If you recall, SN is equal to A1 plus A2 plus dot 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 plus AN. So SN over N to the power of N is precisely the arithmetic mean to the power of N. And by the induction hypothesis, the AMGM inequality holds for all lists of N positive real numbers. So the arithmetic mean of A1 through AN is greater than or equal to the geometric mean of A1 through AN. Therefore, the arithmetic mean to the power of N is greater than or equal to the geometric mean to the power of N. Well, the geometric mean to the power of N is just A1 times dot 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 times AN. And so, we have established a long chain of equalities and inequalities. But if you recall, at the very beginning, we had the arithmetic mean of the n plus one terms to the power of n plus one. And we have shown it's greater than or equal to the geometric mean to the power of n plus one. And since these guys are both positive, we take the n plus one root of both sides of this inequality, we get that the arithmetic mean is greater than or equal to the geometric mean. And so this completes the induction step. Because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. And so we have proven the theorem. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.